everybody, I am back again with more friend Bo. We're finally on the last chapter, which is chapter five. Also, I'm sorry if my green screen is messed up. This is a new setup. So, see, <laughs> it's like a little messed up, but it's okay. We'll be fine. I'm also super bright, but that's okay. Um, I also had to replay the whole game because this computer does not have my save game on it, so I am somewhat up to date now, even though I haven't played it in a long time. So we're going to continue on as if nothing happened, as if I never left. Ugh, the nurse is always chained me to the bed. Oh wait. that we can see, the black ones, light ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Oh, and can you tell me then why we see the things we do? What, is, what about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. Good idea. I also knew by Mr. Midnight, I think he's in danger. Anne Grace blames him for the death of her parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty, you know, our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock you. It so happens that I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. Why are we in grown-up clothes? Are we just playing around? Oh, my yellow dress is so pretty. A jacket. They always must put on that jacket to go outside. Oh, outside? I can't even play them. It's quite useless. I try not to grow up much, so I can use it forever. But if I grow up, I can use it as a shirt. Aww, you're the cute. Super cute. I do this on my journey with Edward and Palantras. That's super cute. I think Palantras is funny and smells like bubble gum. And Edward likes to play all day long. faces on everything, or to give color to the ugly things. Or just show paper. I don't feel like drawing right now. Maybe I can make a paper boat. But I can't. I'm on a mission. Let's concentrate. So my clothes to make shows. I like to dress differently for every show. It gives more character. Also, she likes to put on little shows. One blue blanket, one white. I don't need them right now. They are for when it's very cold. Did you bad things? That's why you're grounded, little lady. You won't come out yet. No, no. Okay, I've got the keys. Now we can go to Freya. Oh, wait. Use the keys on the lock. Let's see which key. Um, nope. Aha! Unlocked! So much, friend. He, he, you really have a lot of keys in there. That's not you. Oh, friend. But uh, before I forget, Polantris told me that if we met someday, I should give you this. 
Here, I think I'll help you to open to open something. Oh, okay. Launchers, you know it's you? Wow, thank you. Yes, he also told me that if we meet, if we met, you would be ready for what's about to come. What? Ready for what? Tell me. Oh no, I can't now. It's just coming to be quiet. Is it the aunt? Oh, it's the nurse. Come on, Fran. You must see the doctor now. She didn't lock her. She locked her um, chains. No, no, go, little Fran. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is bad, bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find my monster. I'm sure he's a monster at night, but nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody! Okay. Aliens? Oh, I love this comic. I like the part where the alien takes the girl to another planet. It's always nice to see new places like it first though. That's cute. Oh, it says Kill Monday on it. My slippers, I use them when it's raining and I can't go with it. Hey, I painted this one, it's pity of me. We are laying on the grass and looking up at the sky, and I'm singing songs to Mr. Midnight, too. Uh, what? A Kamala, nasty creatures. Poor tree, he must be really sad with the Kamala eating from him. I know Kamala's don't like water. Oh, so we need some water. Excuse me, is somebody down there? Yes, I am somebody. Hello, have you seen a black cat? No, I have not seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. Are you alright? I think it's Kamala. No, not really. I, I don't feel very well. It's just sad. Well, I may be able to help you. I got rid of Kamala once all by myself. This one's foxy. I'd love to be happy again. I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. What do we have? We don't. Let's look at this. The little golden box is having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers are driving me mad. I press it by the ears, first twice to the left and once to the right. Oh, is this going to be a Press it by the ears, first twice to the left, once to the right. I rub its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left, left ear and scream. Stop whining, little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. Okay, got it. Wow, thanks for chasing me a little bit. The house looks so old and blenny. I wonder what happened to the Oh, look at the description she has! It's so cute! Oh, I feel like all the, all the pieces. 
Mabuga, wake up mother, Mabuga. The horned child is playing with the light. The Malukas is angry. You mean the Malukas are angry? And shining too bright. Mother Balu Ma Mother Mabuga. Wake up, wake up and give up the child before the darkness ends. In the hands of the light, Mabuga. Must wake up. Let's build the ecog clock on the back of the giant cat. Too strong are the bubbles and too bright the light. She cried. Mabuga, the mother of darkness, will open my heart. Please take my little horned evil child and shut down the lights. What? Empty case. Oh, those are the things I need to collect. I need a soap bar. I need bowl. Wake, wake up clock. Bo bottle with water. Black wire. A glove. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, big 
doll my daddy and I built together. Her name is Piwan, and she likes to be naked. She had a dress once, but she burned it. Oh, uh, shh. What? Excuse me? Is there nothing in here that I need? different doors and it looked like like this weird alternate reality I, I forgot what it's called I think it was like something about babysitting Ouch. intruder infiltrator why would you enter without presenting yourself I am Okula o Okula the eye from beyond behold my beauty I'm sorry oh what big eye you are what a big eye you are you must see very well. I see everything, nothing less. Everything? Can you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you royal, queen, princess? No, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends. How lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help inside a cage. The bear of the cage entered Mabuka's underground still down there inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose, its fur is very dark, black as the deepest night. It's him, my friend Mr. Midnight, I have to go and find him. But Mabuka is asleep. Waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. You are brave and I respect bravery very much. Thank you, Okula. I'm free by the way. I'll see you around. Oh, he's so sweet. Thank you. Can I use it on me? Can I? I can't use it on myself. Okay, well. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Okay. I am confusion? What? Alien? <gasps> he has soap. I need soap. Maybe give it a coin or something. Wait a second. Boop. Boop. Hang on. I know there's so much to look at right now. Boop. There's a button here. Okay, there goes my 
He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It would be hard to get that key without his permission. Reinforced teeth? I see. I'll see what I can do to take the key from him. And who are you, if I may ask? Well, I'm Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Mabuka's den. Mabuka? Who is Mabuka? You don't know who Mabuka is? You don't leave now. Just leave. He's so offended. Well, what about Toaster? I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead so I know. Okay, okay. Mabuka is a mother of darkness. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like Elvira. The darkest darkness, the obscurity, and the light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. What? Am, am I at the fifth reality? I thought Re Remmer was the king here. Ah, Remor, the terrible black, the son of darkness. <laughs> Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I have said enough. Alright, I'll be back later. Anyway, I must get your friend's key. <gasps> I know how to get the key. Give it a key. <gasps> oh my gosh, why is he bleeding? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Ah. Hello, Mr. Skull, you have a little flesh lens on me. My kitty would lick and chew. Ooh, and it's it. <coughs> How could you? I hope somebody takes your teeth as well. Well, the tooth fairy already took all my baby teeth. Insane, isn't it? How rude. Forget tooth fairy to take your teeth. Oh, mysterious paintings in a mysterious place. That is indeed very mysterious. The eyes are crying tears of blood. That's sad. This looks like Edwards. Is this Edwards outfit? Are we calling somebody? Nine four one. I need help, please. I am in another reality. <laughs> Edward's hat. Edward for 
forgot his hat. Or maybe the hat forgot his head. Or maybe the hat can't exist without the head and vice versa. That means nothing is real. Wow. Whoa, she's... I'm already confused, friend. <gasps> hey, we're here. I was like, how am I going to get over here? Can I take this? Does the sound of my heart disturb you? It can stop all of a sudden, and that would be the end. I don't like thinking about my heart's, my heart's beat. I just want the soap. So, are you having trouble with hygiene? Yes, terrible problems with hygiene. I smell like my flesh is all rotten inside. But that sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you. Just let me have the soap for a little while. All right then, take it. It's all yours. Oh, thank you, creep. But be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. They eat their big... Can you chill? I just want some soap, please. That sounds terrible. Um, I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. <laughs> Weirdo. Weirdo, can I have your water? Little bath boy. Oh, are you? Wait, what is he called? What is he called? Hang on. <laughs> Use bottle on with bath boy. <laughs> are you a little bath boy? Hey, oh, hey, there's a sticky. This could work wonderfully if the water was on. Can you turn the water on for you? Okay, do I have to do everything for you? Yes, you got it. Why is there a block? Why is there a rose on the floor? That's the ball. I think you have a whale. Very nice. Real whale, but I can see the very amazing creature. It's true. People need to stop killing them. Okay, so we have a key. We need to open up another key. Wait a second. Wait a second. Let me go back. Let me go back. Good thing I left the water on. Gas all these balloons and then fill them up with a cola. And then you can put them in. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting that they've been helped in Tree Boy. Let's go help him first. Before I forget, because I have the memory of a goldfish. Okay. Oh goodness, I missed. What? Oh my gosh, you better. What if I can't come 
combining and why can't I combine them yet? I guess I need to have all of the pieces before I can start combining. I don't know. Ugh. Hello, tree, you're big. What are those red things coming from inside you? I guess it won't tell. We have a glove. Okay, can I start putting things together? Oh, my theory is wrong. Wait a second. 
Valokas from prim, pre, prim Eve told us everything a long time ago. The Keeper will be hunted by the Son of Dark after feeding the Red Seed. But you are too young, I must say. Too young indeed of the Keeper of the Key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Remor killed my parents, Mother Mabuka. Can you imagine how it feels? I'm all for the I am all of those feelings, friend. Oh, I am all the sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. But then you don't care if I were killed my parents. Oh, wrong. But then you don't care if I were killed my parents. I thought you were nice. I'm curious about knowing the reason. Now I understand. It's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. 
Wow, that was a quick boss battle. Let's go. Always talk things out first before you revert to violence. Oh, hello. What a lovely waiting room for hell. <laughs> oh, that creature's body is made up of rabid faces. The math boy said something about this. <gasps> oh no. We, we smell like soap. Do I know you from somewhere? You, you took something from me, didn't you, you little thief? Where is my knitting needle? Ah, did you stab all your little friends with it? What? Knitting needle? Are you the dead nurse I saw back in the Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you, you little beast? Take a number, would you, and wait for your turn in the waiting room. But miss, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I will repeat myself. Alright, calm down. Palm readings here? Seven. That's not too bad. Let's take a number and hope. Oh, can we change it? I feel like I'm back in the Oswald Asylum, but it can be, or it came in. 106, is that the door we're gonna go through? It's locked, but it doesn't have a keyhole. Maybe someone must open it from the inside. Maybe the nurse can open it? Can I give this to you? Oh, just take a number and wait your turn. Okay, calm down. Okay. Oh, look at these interesting characters. Oh, I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours? Maybe days. Ha! I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone been waiting? Uh, I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally helpless. Everyone, uh, but is there a way to make things faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. But why won't you become a doctor yourself then? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't. My heart eye is blind. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I must be a patient. Neither can I. I lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. What? Why would you want to purposely scare yourself? Take that mask off then. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please, let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Um, but how can you not know? You, do you feel pain somewhere? That's a very hard question. Make it softer. How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Have you tried pulling out your eye, pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Ugh, enough. It's, it's impossible to talk sense to any one of you. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not the one that sees it all. Only known us for a few minutes. It's very little time to understand it all. Uh, that's true, but it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? Well, it helps to to better understand each other. We do understand each other very well with our uncommon sense, anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. But who is the one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. Now, I want to wait because talking won't make the way go faster. Uh, alright, thank you for nothing. What number do you have? Ugh, oh, waiting was fun in the beginning. Now it's just boring. You have number two. He has number two. Do you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. I think my... Uh, I think... Oh, I, I used the wrong voice. My 
car is broken. The big guy told me that because she's in snow. So I need to get his number one. Can I trade? What? What is it possible to exchange your tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illnesses I have. What if I find out what illnesses you have? Would you then give me your ticket? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. Um... all the tears you can until you fill this bottle with it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm at a very problematic point in my life. <laughs> oh my gosh. Same friend. Oh my god. <laughs> I love friends so much. I thought everything was going to be better than Kitty and I got home and now everything is so confusing and Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now, but Luca said that I was selected for something. But she fell asleep again and I won't answer any questions. I need my kitty, Mr. Midnight's hunts are the biggest couple in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to their sip and happy. They're so cute. Hmm, lovely pain, so profound. Do I give this to her? Spall's out full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Go now. Time to not wait for everybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Good boy. Here's your, here's your salt water. Here, drink this. It'll feel much better. Oh, trying to wait, wait. Trying to poison me. Ha <laughs> ha. How lovely. <laughs> How lovely. <laughs> Tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I have ever tasted. Give me more, give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. Alright, alright, here you go. <gasps> and thank you, your tears taste absolutely delicious. What a sicko. Sicko. <gasps> Or do I just walk the door? Page number two! We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry, we don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick! I lost my kitty, I just want to find him. I lost kitty? Don't worry, that's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're lucky, though. Many lose their minds instead. Huh? Lucky? But how do I get an appointment then? Aw, oh, just call me. There's my card with the telephone number. 
Oh. Oh my gosh. I know where the freaking phone is. because it's none of my business. <laughs> Me. When I read people's Facebook statuses, I'm like, oh, okay, great. Yeah, thanks for sharing. You can't choose to end your life. You haven't choose, chosen to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? Are you? You are a rumor, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remor, the terrible black prince of darkness. I don't know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where's my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dern? I am muted. I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping off your eyes. I feed from it. You are the manifestation of my desire. I can use you for whatever I want. Um, pedo alert. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You are assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body's fragile, easy to corrupt. Also, I have to lean down when I talk. My mic is right here. All right, Romer, please keep your hands off me. <gasps> no, this is like Alice Mickey, like Alice and Alice Returns. Why? No, oh, it can't be. Stop it. Do it! I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. Oh my good gravy! Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. Can you stop stabbing me, please? Lord have mercy. There's no way. There's no. Wait, that was her. There's no way. I don't. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Brian is the most purest, pure. Even though she's kind of crazy. It's okay. That monster wants to trick me. I know. Everybody is crazy around here. I have to find Kitty and Lee. Okay, let's just go to the door. Pass 
stop examining stuff. <gasps> Dr. Dirt and Mr. Kitty! Kitty, my darling! I'm here for you! Are you alright? Kitty, answer me! What's wrong with you? Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. Please don't do this to me. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's, it's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to a thirst of my darling. The lodgers can help. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Yeah. Well, Kitty, I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Duner, right? He seems to be in trouble. Dr. Dern, are you alright, sir? Sir, wake up, please. Dr. Dern, wake up. Are you alive? What should I do to wake him up? Can I just, like, cut the straps? No. <gasps> no! No, we can't do that. We can't press this. We can't press this. We can't press this. It wants us to press this. I can't press this. What do I do? Oh, no, I don't want to... Oh, no. No, no, no. Wait, what are these buttons? What do I do with these buttons? Is there something that will tell me? Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. <laughs> I thought I'm gonna make a huge mistake. The old man again, Mr. Oswald. Oh, so he, he knows this. A syringe. Don't need this. Don't need water. I can't go anywhere else. All I can do is, is. These buttons don't do anything. Do I press. Do I do, I do this? Is this gonna be bad? nothing else to do. Do I use it on him? Maybe this will wake him up? Oh no. Wait. Maybe, maybe the other thing was me. <laughs> Which one was worse? Pulling the, pulling the lever or giving him the syringe? Don't worry, Dr. Dern, it's me, friend. What? I can't see very well. Fran Brewster from the Oswald Asylum? We were in the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, Fran. Monsters don't feel like playing games. Dude, look around you right now. You're on a floating surface in the middle of nowhere. Who, who should you be talking to? Like, what? Like, how do you not trust her? Look around you. Nothing makes sense to you. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. <gasps> Oswald. What is she doing here? I thought you chained her. Oh, I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? And Grace, why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? Yes, Fran. The same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying with the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Ooh, we're gonna help. We're learning. We're learning. Both helped me to find the key to success. The key? Did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Remember, did a great job. A great job? What are you talking about? His power of manipulation is extraordinary. So he made me do that? What I don't understand is how can you be so calm about it? Oh, wait, how can you be so calm about it? It was you holding that knife, after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Remmer all the time. But why does, why does he hunt me? Remmer is the manifestation of your weaknesses. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. The pain is connected to growth and strength, friend. Oswald, please. Let's just do what we need to do. And Grace, please don't be mad at me with family. Let, let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes, you're right, friend. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. No! Go 
with your aunt and for aunt. Isn't that what she wanted? Oh, you turn. Are you all right, sir? Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> oh, he's still breathing. Okay. I probably should have used the syringe. Oh, my gosh. Should I not have used that? I didn't know there were choices in this game. Friend, my dear, listen to me. You must know, Dr. Oswald only wants what's best for you. When Lucy was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to keep the best. But for that, we must allow, you must allow him to try little experiments on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course, but there is still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. <gasps> Holy! No, no, kitty. Come on, friend, stop weeping. The cat is dead now. But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. <sighs> oh my gosh. I He better not be friend. I'm gonna cry. You also helped to kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. I hate you. <sighs> Dang. Stop it, friend. Help, help. Please, help. Oh. My. Gosh. Oh my gosh, she has a gun. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. <gasps> After all that? She's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still... <coughs> what? I need to extract the brain? What is going on? Why is this so long? I thought this was, this was going to end like an hour ago. <laughs> Fran, are you alright? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me. You're right about Fran. Dr. Dean, she was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now, looking for the right child, the brain, the right brain, and now that I have her, nothing can stop me. <gasps> Is my boy? Is my boy? Oh, Fred, everything will be fine. Who, who are you? I'm Edward, the one many children talk about. But... But you're not human! Ecto bro, ecto bro, palantris, monarch, keist. Gorska! Edward, I found him! My goodness, stay away from the girl, leave her alone! <gasps> yes! <laughs> Little friend must be cured! Do you think you can use the sea body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Did you bring your magical water? Oh, Mother Mabu Mother Mabuga, you took the innocence of the child. Fred is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, friend, and you will be able to walk towards the light. What the heck is going on? This is like a fever dream. Oh my gosh, thank the Lord the cat's okay. Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm so glad Dr. Dern's okay. I think he looks fine after I stabbed him with something unknown. Ugh. What happened in word? Palantras, my. Oh, this is her. What happened in word? Palantras, my heart hurts. Mr. Midnight, huh? You're alive, my kitty! I miss you so much. Please tell me something. Friend, we must go now. Go? All right. Dr. Dern, look, this is Edward and Palantras. I told you about them. Remember, I told you they were real. See? Can you believe me? <gasps> I spoke too soon. Oh, oh, that's just great. I killed him. 
can't tell you, I think he's under the power of a hookah now. You really must leave now. But can you come with us, please? He's been really nice to me. He's, he really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. But what we can do is make him believe that all this is a dream. He'll wake up and he'll know this really happened. But he won't remember you, friend. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess. As long as he gets safe. That's very kind. You really see him beyond into your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud of you. I really think so. Well, thank you, Polonchus. Now, let's send up to Dark Home. Marcel Dern. Yep, someone. Oh, this is okay. Goodbye, Dr. Dern. Let's go now, friend. There's so much you must see and learn. Hee <laughs> hee, that sounds like fun. Let's go, Kitty. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know... That between guilt and fear... I choose happiness.